witnessing to young people tribal restoration new tribal messiah activities are being carried out across the world amid such worldwide mobilization 430 families were restored in the Buddhist nation of Thailand the seeds of Chonil Guk are germinating At a witnessing center located in Bangkok, some 50 university students offer the condition of attending morning hundokhe at 5 o'clock. They savor the word for the day deep in their hearts, share their inspirations with one another, and pray loudly together to commence their day. Later they set off in the early morning to a marketplace to raise funds to support the project. Bangkok has eight such witnessing centers and some 150 passionate young people are learning true parents' traditions and life course and actualizing them in their lives. The young people receive scholarships and guidance in their lives of faith. It is the foundation of conditions offered by Dr. Lech Thavidamzakal and his family that have made this possible. Dr. Lech, as he is affectionately known, was a medical student dreaming of becoming a doctor who could save people's lives. The great vision of the divine principle moved him, however, and he joined our church. Then he took the lead in witnessing at his university. Yet the Thai church, which had begun to grow quickly, met with a serious challenge. Just as had occurred in Korea earlier, the Thai members faced serious persecution and oppression from the military government and media because of many misunderstandings and false rumors. In 1991, Dr. Lech and eight other leaders were imprisoned under serious charges. So we were accused by the government and then we have gone through a long period of persecution and we were arrested and put into prison with our bail even though we are not yet proved to be doing anything wrong. After the military government was overthrown, the members were released, but the group continued their legal struggle to prove their innocence. Meanwhile, Dr. and Mrs. Lek began their tribal messiah activities. The court case had continued for more than 20 years before finally in 2011, they won the case in the Supreme Court. Dr. and Mrs. Lech had brought 100 students to the church, but they seemed to have reached a limit to their growth. A turning point came when True Father ascended. Dr. Lech and his family were moved by Father's final prayer and True Mother's message regarding our mission as new tribal messiahs. <laughs> The message entered his head, then moved to his heart before spreading throughout his whole self as a great passion. He thought he wouldn't be able to feel anything else ever again. It became the driving force for his activities. I really want to do Tribal Messiah and then trying to restore 430 couple quickly in a short time, even before Kiwancho. Witnessing to high school students. A seminar on true love and ideal families is given to students from a high school some hours from Bangkok. Those that connect deeply receive counseling on what college they might attend, and good students are selected. 
When these students enter college, Dr. Lek continues to guide their lives of faith by teaching them the divine principle and sending them to workshops. Gradually, they grow into central members. He and Mrs. Lek completely dedicate themselves to them with a parental heart. Tribal restoration activities happen when the students guide their own parents to education and to the blessing ceremony. Some 1,800 couples have received the blessing through this virtuous system. Through the divine principle, I could form a life goal, and it was inspiring to see Dr. Lek serving others. I want to take after him and live in the same way. Dr. Lek then carefully chose 430 families among those blessed couples that had gone through the 40-day separation and three-day ceremony. These blessed families had spiritual experiences and after personally seeing much progress in their once difficult financial situations, they gradually grew internally. Despite the lack of a sanctuary, they are building a home church environment, doing morning pledge and hundokhe in front of a photograph of true parents. Dr. Lek's family has been traveling four or five hours by car once every month, holding rallies for their tribes, with about a hundred members attending each time. He is the tribal parent, the tribal teacher, and tribal owner that teaches and guides and gives continuously the life of a new tribal messiah. Carrying out all these activities, living a life that emulates true parents as the example, his greatest source of energy are the converted carp students. After receiving pure love education at school, I was chosen as a scholarship recipient. I went through so much transformation upon going through the three-day and five-day workshops. Among many inspirations, my biggest realization was that serving others is the biggest source of joy. Under the theme True Love and World Peace, Dr. Lek and his family are continuously giving Divine Principles seminars to government officials and local youths. Despite being a Buddhist nation with an environment that makes the integration of other religions difficult, True Parents' teachings have spread quickly since Foundation Day. It is said that one reason behind this is that True Mother introduced Heavenly Parent as the name we should use for God. This made it easy to explain the Divine Principle. Since Thailand regards filial piety as very important, the government also supported the ideal of true families on a national level. Thailand is facing many social problems as a result of drugs and juvenile crime. I believe that the true family and pure love education carried out by the Family Federation will be a fundamental solution, and I am requesting regular education on these subjects. Thanks to Dr. Lek's family's example, many members in Thailand are doing their best now to fulfill their missions as tribal messiahs. True parents are advancing without rest toward the fulfillment of Vision 2020. Members are also making great strides to complete this mission. May the wind of tribal activities blowing through Thailand spread out to the world and spur the completion of Chonilguk.